So this is your Young and the Wrestler review for today. It was boring, it was slow, it was some good parts, was some horrible parts, but made it through or whatever. So we left from Friday's episode to Monday's episode with Jack asking Phyllis, do you have a thing for my brother? And his thing for his brother meaning that do you have a thing for a brother? You want a, my brother or not? Phyllis say no. We are kind of like we like kindred spirit. That ain't what that man asked you, Phyllis. You know what the fuck that man was asking you. He don't need saving and all that. You know damn well what that man meant, um, Phyllis. And you beating around the bush, pushing foot in the round. Phyllis, I thought you was better than that doing Jack like that. Jack too old to be cheated on. And the uh, scene. After they got done talking, we went naked at the damn bar, per usual for her. After she then went round, after she then went round one and two with Meredith, and Meredith introduced herself to Nikki. Uh, Meredith, you an idiot. Girl, if you don't see Victor using you, you get what you deserve. Have you not heard the news? Now, you stand genuine sin. I'm pretty sure you didn't heard about Victor Newman before you seen him. Who haven't? I'm pretty sure everybody have. You ought to know what the fuck you getting into. You honestly think it's his family and not Victor. That's why he ain't talking to his family. Honey, if you really think that you naive, then you look. And Nikki tried to tell your ass the truth. You didn't want to listen. So if you want to get used by Victor, you go right on here. Let Victor use you to get on out of trail. Well, not according to that judge, he ain't so... We'll see how far that lasts. See if Dumb Dumb gonna still do it. Go over her daddy head and get him out. I'm pretty sure she is. Yeah, he gonna end up gonna kiss her at the end. Okay, Meredith, if you getting deeper and deeper. Uh, then Nikki then cussed her out. And then Nikki goes get her, try to slip her a drink. Jack stopped her and told her no. Anna comes in and say, um, Vic did not get out. He tried. I stopped that. Adam, you ain't shut shit down. Trust and believe, Victor finna get his ass out some way or another way. Y'all know Victor have a thousand schemes up in the one up in his neck and schemes. Number to sure he gon' he got more than that scheme going up in the air. So y'all might have stopped that one, but I'm pretty sure he got more coming down the down the tools. Well, uh, what else happened? Oh, 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 oh. Victoria, Victoria, I'm gonna get nothing like your ass no more. How long you didn't know this man in this bar? Maybe three weeks, maybe a few days, and you already didn't gave him the cuckoo. Now, Victoria, I know you sad and lost right now. You miss Billy, and you trying to get under somebody else to forget about Billy. But could it be that at least somebody you know? You don't know this man from a kind of pen. I don't know this man got AIDS, HIV, or what. And you going sipping with him. And then I know you felt awkward as fuck. Billy called you in the bed. You were the lady in the bed with with Travis. And then all of a sudden, Billy called you talking about Johnny, say good night. Did Was you awkward or no? Nah? Because I know I would have been awkward had your phone on vibrate and you didn't whoop that man up. And then that man asked you about your kid. Oh, that's off limits. Your body wasn't off limits. Why should a kid be off limits, Victoria? Hell, you didn't did that much. You didn't let this man in cunt, then you in. And you didn't fell into the pit. Then slept with the man. Only must know the man from a can of paint. But okay. And that's how we doing it. You go right on here and do it then, Victoria. Trying to get over somebody other than Billy. Um... Oh, Meredith did ask Victor in the end, and he using her. He said no, and do his crazy, crazy look like he do everybody. Like, are you serious? Like, he's shocked. He's appalled that somebody going to ask him that question. That woman want to know if she getting used or no, and you know she getting used. So, too bad she's not smart enough to realize that Victor using your silly ass. And that should have told you something when the whole family ain't no... 
Look, the whole family ain't on his side. The whole family against him. Shouldn't I should have told you something, Miss Stein? Or are you just that naive and that desperate? So which one is it? Is you that desperate or what? Because that I'd have told you something right then and there. If his whole family ain't talking to him. But I guess you're going to be the spokesperson for Victor all of a day all of a sudden. So you go ahead and take Nicky's spot. At least you is stronger than Nick. Ain't got to slip no drink every time you get upset. But, okay. Adam and Chelsea renewed their vows. I want to talk about that. Congratulations to them. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I didn't want that in the rest of it, so. Oh, yeah. Nick was in the park talking to me. Chance to what her bottle of vodka. Her little mini bottle of vodka. And that's where it went off at. Um, yeah, I think I covered everything. Oh, yeah, Russell. I don't know how the fuck I passed over that one till now. But I'm glad I caught it before I ended this video. Mmm. Damn, Alex just fucking up. Anyways, Russell went to see Victor from Friday and told him, I'm going to be using my daughter trying to get your ass out because it ain't happening. Do you understand justice? Do you know how justice works? I want to defend myself. I didn't get a chance to defend myself. Also, that's the excuse we running with now, Victor. You ain't get to defend yourself when you was on trial. Basically, that was your time to defend yourself. Here, you got money. You could have hired any lawyer you want to just like that. You chose not to. You chose to defend your own self. So how the fuck did you not defend yourself? Your victim sure as hell don't get to defend they self. Adam, Stitch, Sit Sister. What about Stitch Sister? When you had her on the damn island with Jack, free picking for her to do whatever the fuck she want to Jack. Did she have, did she get to defend herself? North of was going to kill her. Pad, and when you used her that one time, did she get a chance to defend herself? Fearless. When you something that no good ass drug dealer man down here in the general the, uh, down here the general city that raped that woman and sleep with that woman acting like that with her man did she get a chance to defend herself Jack when you had him on the island with a nut did he get a chance to defend himself it's amazing how all your victims don't get to defend themselves but you get to def but you but you bragging but you complain about you ain't get to defend yourself. Bitch, you went on trial, ain't nobody fought your ass and want to get no lawyer. You decided you wanted to bend, you defend yourself trying to be big time. Now your ass then got caught up, now your ass in jail for 10 times. That ain't nobody fault but your own fault, Victor. And you trying to play this damn victim shit ain't going too well with me. Cause all your victims, they can say they ain't get a chance to defend themselves, then they didn't. But oh, now you want to defend yourself. With all that fucking money you got right now, you could have called you about three, five lawyers, about three or four, five lawyers. But no, you chose not to. You tried to be big and bald and, and, and uh, uh, represent your own ass. So now you mad because you ain't get to defend yourself. That sounds like your own fucking problem then, Vic, that I can't feel sorry for you. You done did too much shit over the years, and now that shit finally came and about you and your ass. Now you playing victim that you ain't get to defend yourself. Oh, okay. Bet that you can go on somewhere with that shit right there. It ain't nobody interested. But anyways, though, that's the video, y'all. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Share it. Comment. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And that's about it. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.